Hi guys. Today with us we have the founder and CEO of Pep Coding Sumit Malik. He is really known for his tutorials. I have also watched a few of his Hindi tutorials and he is really good in explaining stuff. But last year he decided to make his entire content free which really surprised me. I mean how is he surviving financially? One thing is creating content but you also have to survive right so how is he doing that plus what is his business plan what is his strategy i hope the video helps you understand exactly what all is available free and you can use it as well and he has promised that especially for this audience for the people who are watching this video he is going to give some special giveaway so stay tuned and let's get started Hi Sumit sir, thank you so much for coming and doing this. Let's get started with knowing you a bit more in detail. So, can you tell us a bit about yourself and you know about your content creation journey till now? Hi Kirti, thank you for having me over. And uh, can I use uh, share my screen and show a little while I speak? Sure, sure, yeah. Yeah. I understand you are ingrained as a teacher. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I I stay in that mode, in the teacher mode always. And it is always better to show something when you speak. Um, so I have been doing pep coding uh, since four years now. We started in December 2017, and uh, we started making our content free last year. In July, we decided in July 2020, uh, we decided to make our content free. So now it is available free of charge. Uh, we before decided. Before that, it was all paid. Uh, before that, it was all paid. Is it? Yes, before that, it was all paid. and that is when we decided to make all our content in 100% completeness uh, freely available to the community and uh, we slowly started doing it and now whatever we uh, teach in paid classes is available all free of charge matlab in, in its entirety it is organized also and it is completely available uh, we majorly push that content via youtube and uh, now we have started pushing that out via nados which is a social media that we have created for learners and uh, the extent of that content is uh, we do dsa we do dev web dev primarily also computer science and uh, data science so that is the content that we are pushing to the community that is available free of charge okay yeah, i would like to understand a bit more about you know why would you decide to make everything free like uh, was it like you know you must you must be earning pretty well like for three years so why yeah so uh i cannot say that we decided on it uh, uh with an aim in mind it slowly came into being like in december 2017 when we started we were a brick and mortar store we had a space where we could teach 40 students in parallel and uh, it slowly grew to a space where we could teach uh, approximately 300 students in parallel that happened from december 2017 to february 2020 and then covid struck that is where covid struck and the brick and mortar uh, store <laughs> went out of vogue completely we could not open it and we moved to zoom classes then we started uh, doing zoom classes and the request started to coming up from all over india and then we realized that we could reach out to a larger audience so it's a purely business uh, decision i would not say that uh, it was triggered by philanthropic uh, intentions it was purely a business decision so what we had in mind when we started making our content free was that certainly the conversion rate would decrease so let us say if we if as of now 10 students know about us and take uh, let us say two people take our paid uh, services so we knew that this would drop from 2 to 0.2 and the hypothesis said that this 10 would increase from 10 to not 100 but 1000 so even a 0.2% of 1000 is 20 so that is what the idea was and it actually panned up like uh, that only so in, in july we made our content free july 2020 and by august by august uh, what had happened was uh, in january so before this in january 75% of our audience from, was from ncr and the rest 25% from all of india and in july we made the content free and in august this ratio had changed from 7525 to uh, 48 from ncr and 52% from the rest of india and since then it has increased uh, uh, quite a lot uh, in the favor of rest of india so i think right now it is 20% from ncr and 80% more than 80% from the rest of india so that is what has happened it it happened because the youtube uh, channel grew in popularity now we have more than 80000 subscribers 
in fact not 80 89000 as of now 89000 on on youtube channel and and on youtube it is only dsa content on nados there is much more content on youtube there is only a fraction of that content so if uh, let us say only 1 by 6 content is available on youtube the rest of the content is on nados, nados and it is also free nados is also free yes nados is all free the content is free whether on youtube or on nados the content is entirely free but on youtube now we have changed our our uh thing on youtube for you to be we generally used to popularize our content and not the real content the real content lives on nados because see a video alone is not enough when you give to a user you also need to give him a space where he can solve the question actually submit the question or if it is a dsa problem so that that thing is uh, enabled more on nados and again there are so many more things somebody can ask for a doubt on youtube comments that is not a good place to resolve a doubt or on nado somebody can record a video and post his doubt and somebody can resolve that doubt So Nados gives a more, I would say, uh, complete experience to a learner. It is again free, of course, on YouTube as well as on Nados. But the Nados gives a more complete experience. That is why I recommend to all my users don't use YouTube. Instead, come on Nados and use that. That is where you would get a more complete experience. Okay, so uh, like you started the online journey only after COVID struck, or like you were always uh, okay. No, no, only uh, we used to have a, a section of free resources on our earlier pet pooling website also. but majorly i would say this is a uh, uh, the real thing started only after the covid start so, so you are fairly like uh, it hasn't been that long and uh, as i can see on your linkedin you have committed like you know 3 lakh videos 3 lakh videos is a huge amount of you know content in such a short span of time so how are you planning to finish all of that see uh, while we we do keep an eye on the business to on on monetization but certainly there is a mission statement that we are working towards that mission statement is to provide uh, both learning and career opportunities to everyone so there are two kind of opportunities that i see learning opportunities and career opportunities these opportunities has to be provided to everyone irrespective of where somebody lives so geography is one constraint and the second constraint that i see is finances regardless of the money somebody's parent has or regardless of where a person lives everyone must have equal learning and career opportunities so i would say something like this so metros have a different kind of learning and career opportunities available then come state capitals or or such cities where there are eminent institutes like iit kanpur so kanpur is not a capital but that that is a city where there would be a culture for learning then i would say state districts uh, like panipat sonipat and then tehsils so they are kind of sub districts and then there are block towns they are smaller towns near to villages and then finally villages uh see only only 7% population lives here and 69% population lives here and in fact i, I would speak that for the entire uh, i would that is not a criticism for anyone but i think swiggy and zomato and maybe urban company this is all a urban phenomena not even a urban phenomena it is only a metro phenomena swiggy and zomato are not do not have the same traction in karnal for instance neither does our urban company have and similarly for edtech the edtech has not been able to reach those spaces so i think the complete problem can be solved if there is ed and there is a tech angle and there is also finance angle so because i say geography is one constraint that can be easily resolved you provide your services online that can be resolved but then you also have to keep it free of charge because there are so many people who are not being touched by this uh, the services being provided by the edtech sector so unless you make it edtech and fin ed fintech till that problem till that time no service provider would be able to solve the problem at the magnitude india requires it we have a large population only 7% population is being served these places are not being served in the same manner and villages certainly do not have the same opportunity sorry i interrupted you no i, I was just saying that about swiggy so matter and all uh, it's also about you know uh, whether the mindset is there in the villages or not but it's again a controversial stuff let's leave that and let's focus on it uh, i would not call it controversial and i don't why in fact if you would allow i would i would want to harp a lot about that why not see uh, i am coming from this village bhaiswal kala from where, where yogeshwar that won his olympic bronze medal from so nobody in my village uh, from bhaiswal kala uh, and it's a fine place and there are talented people over there but they do not dare dream about being police constable beyond police constables or at max a lieutenant in army that is where that is the extent of their dream they are not even aware that there is a company like microsoft who has a package of 43 lakhs they are not aware of that and they would laugh at my face if i would tell them so so they would tell me that these these companies do not exist that kind of pay does not exist 
that awareness is not there so somebody needs to and how would the awareness uh, get to that place i would tell you a very simple example you go to my village you find the the best student there you finance his education let make him crack microsoft and such news travel in that space you do, do you do that in my village and 50 villages around would know that somebody in that village has cracked a job of 43 lakhs 50 villages would know at least uh, 50000 students would start dreaming about a different thing beyond police constables and beyond army lieutenant they would start dreaming about a different thing they do not even believe that such jobs are available and it, and these students i am sure there there are students in my villages who has scored more than 90% in uh, their plus 2 and in 10 but even their dreams go to this only upsc they would want to become an ias or maybe via cds and army lieutenant or police so that is where their dreams go they they are not aware and these are capable people i'm sure they are capable people they just need a good example they I need have, that uh, trust yes like before covid even you were just an ncr region right because of the reason because we are all trying to survive and you know somehow do this i agree now you are going in the you know you are thinking big and you are trying to help but at least initially you even you were in ncr right so uh, i am saying that okay hopefully let's you know uh, see that discussions like these can motivate people to go to village areas also definitely yeah you are making a very good point but again all of us start from somewhere like you know we have to first make sure that we are somewhere and then only after nothing, that we nothing, can nothing nothing against the people who are already doing something nothing against that but i i say this is a space that needs to be explored and yes. this needs focus from someone how about we provide erodop solutions to people in chatisgarh villages i am sure we are going to do that 3 lakh videos are for that purpose abhi what we would be doing is first we make that content 3 lakh videos erodop and everything in cat and cbse in je in neat in programming we would do that then i would pick up a dhol and i would go to the 6 lakh villages and i i would beat that dhol over and over again so that everybody knows that this content is available and a person with 90% or 80% in plus 2 has a very decent opportunity of cracking a job in microsoft once those success stories start dropping in that is when when that magic would happen i would say if somebody has a 1 upon 100 probability here that probability drops very sharp 1 upon 10 is per 3 here 1 upon 10 is per 4 here and when it comes to villages it's about 1 upon 10 is per 7 let us say there is a sample size of 100 students in a village in plus 2 that means 1 lakh villages would be able to contribute 1% to microsoft right so, even though uh, even i think that you know people from village and you know who haven't got opportunities till now will work harder and will give their best compared yeah, to the people and the people in metro see, who already have a lot of opportunities they, they they are not entitled folks they are not entitled folks i deal with i deal with a lot of students these days so i i know the people who are really desperate who do, they they would die for it they would they would not think about spending 18 hours in a day 18 hours in a day would be nothing for them and not only this not only this the opportunities are not same in state capitals even so i i did my engineering from punjab engineering college in chandigarh and i had an all india rank of 2040 not i not nothing bragging about that but that is a very decent rank and that is a higher rank compared to people in mate and in, even in my times mate has better career prospects than uh, compared to people in pet and that is proof for hbti kanpur also a very decent college you need a very good rank to reach there and i am not promoting that ranks makes you a good computer scientist it does not but it has some correlation in some way so it just indicates that you had worked hard once so maybe there's a probability that you would keep on working hard but people in pec in chandigarh have poorer career prospects compared to people in mate and people in pec have higher ranks and and pec is nothing compared to dtu and nsit certainly and that has got something to do with the geography of the the place it somehow it impacts something you you move farther from delhi with every 50 kilometers add add a factor of 1 by 5 to the career prospects so that is how steeply it drops got it so this is a fairly new uh, venture that you have started right so what made you start uh, nados like since you were already doing youtube channel and i, and I guess it was doing fairly well so why nados and it's like you were saying that everything is free everything is 100% free is everything really 100% free on nados or you know is there any catch because usually there is a catch that's why i would exactly tell you what what is there in the free services what is there in the paid services but but again i, I would continue on harping around this thing ed fintech the problem has to be solved by three angles mm-hmm. uh, and the constraints the geographical constraints and the financial constraints um uh, i generally speak la- longer stories it may be a little boring but i i would want to uh, have the leverage to say so uh, yeah. so yeah. yeah so how i see these two constraints i have already established these constraints exist geography is a problem finance is a problem how do we solve these we provide an online product 
and you keep it free of charge. Then a new problem arises. How do you monetize the system? So if everything is free of charge, how do you monetize the system? So, yeah. so certainly there is a concept of free versus paid services. So the content in its all glory, in all its completeness, organization, everything is free of charge available. So what we charge for is the momentum services that we help you finish the content. So, so the content is free, certainly the content is available here, but in paid, we, we help you finish that content via live classes. That is a momentum builder. Live classes are a momentum builder. So it, it is very easy to say, why don't you finish this 1200 DSA questions? But uh, it's a very simple equation to give to people. So six questions every day, 200 days, that would give you 1200 questions. And now you're good enough to crack Amazon, Microsoft, Google, in tweet, uh, LinkedIn, Flipkart, everything. You are ready for uh, product-based companies, a little dev somewhere, a little core, majorly DSA. So this content is available. But in equations like these, what is the harder part? Six is not the harder part. When you would be motivated one day, you would, instead of six, you would do maybe even 50 in a day. The harder part is 200. So that is where the live courses help. You, you help them do just six questions every day. Just six questions every day. And that is the problem with so many people. When they are motivated that day, they would do a thousand questions. And then for the next thousand days, they would not do one question. So I say motivation is actually the problem. Instead of motivation, one must have momentum. Motivation is a very weak, very weak uh, sentiment if it is coming about finishing things off. Momentum is a better thing. Replace motivation by a momentum. Here, somebody would need a motivation. I, I can drop in a, a job there to motivate people. We also have a job portal. But here, we provide the momentum services. You give them life. Only six questions per day. Not too much, not too less. Only six questions per day. Over 200 days, that would give you 1,200 questions. Is there any difference between the kind of content in like None at all. None, not, a question is like, not a question extra is being done in live classes. Although, I would say... Uh, instead of content, the context is also there. So, so there are certain kind of questions. Let us say, uh, uh, if I am talking about Catalan number, so that is a set of 10, 15 questions that has to be done together. Um, in content, I can provide those 10 questions, but the context, how are they linked? So those kind of videos are very difficult to create. Although I have tried it for Catalan, but that is very difficult to create. The context, say uh, all these questions, uh, coin change, coin change permutation, coin change combination, Target some have a video on Catalan, like how the videos, how the questions are linked. So I guess I would ask you to review mine. So, so you check my set of Catalan. I've done around 15 questions there. And I have uh, 10, yeah. All right. So so do check out mine. <laughs> I I am very, I mean, uh vain about my content. <laughs> Not proud. I would call myself vain about my content. So okay. I keep on checking the checking the comments, how people react to it and everything. That so, I think everyone does. Even I like uh, it's. Uh, you have to make sure that the quality is up to mark, and you have to take feedback. So yeah. And some part of vanity is also there. <laughs> I think nothing wrong with that. Every content creator uh, must have some passion. That is why he's creating so. And that is a thing of creation. You you go back to it and see it in the night, and you you feel joy about it. So I think that is pretty natural. Uh, again, I was speaking about this another set context part. I was speaking about. This this um, uh, coin change permutation, coin change combination, target some subset, uh, if even fractional knapsack, even unbounded knapsack. These are questions of the same set. They need to be done together. So I can arrange them in the content, but how are they linked to each other? That is a very difficult video to create. Those are, I call them context videos. Uh, so I was speaking about that. Uh, what is the momentum breaker uh, in free? Uh, a student is depending on the content and his self discipline to finish it. In paid, we help them via live classes. Only six questions every day. And across three, 300 days, you finish it off. So in 300 days, in, in 200 days, you do DSA. Then we help you do web dev via Mernstack. So you have a lot of projects. At least uh, we claim 50. 26 in the classes and 26 via hackathons. And uh, then core is also taken care of. System design is also taken care of. So this is about content. The second momentum breaker, I think, is doubts for a lot of people. So how I help people do doubts for free content is, in this Nados, um, you know, we have this section called we, we glorify doubt solvers. So, and we are going to do it starting January. We are going to launch a program called Doubt Support Program. So, whoever solves the maximum number of doubts in the free this public feed, and we would send him a MacBook Air, not MacBook Pro, but the the topper here would be sent a MacBook Air starting January. So that is how we take care of doubt support for free users. And for paid users, we have our uh, teams of interns. We call them LRC, Learning Research Centers. So they take care of doubt support in uh, paid batches. So like FJP is a paid batch. So here, if, if this admin, I am an admin. So there are other people who are also admin. They take care of the doubt support. Somebody posts a questionnaire, you post the solution in the comment via a video or maybe a code. 
or maybe just a description, whatever is required, or maybe a diagram. So doubt support, here we have doubt support, which is premium doubt support, I would call that, premium doubt support. So doubts is another momentum breaker. Another thing that helps in building or breaking the momentum is contests. So uh, have you ever done like code courses or code share for a while? I've uh, not like, uh, you know, like competitions, but yeah, I've practiced this, like very less, but yeah. yeah. I'm sure you must be aware of people who get so hooked to that adrenaline yeah. rush that yeah. comes from competitive programming. So we have this compete section. We have this test series in the paid classes. For free users, we have this contest, weekly contest that is uh, done. Uh, like we would enable a batch for you too and your audience can also have a contest. But for paid students, we have a test series, every week one test. And this is very different from a contest. So in a test series, sometimes I give them fake victories. So if I drop in four questions, I drop two questions that are very similar to what we did in the class. I want to give them a fake victory because nothing succeeds like success. So I play games like these. And I think any teacher who has been doing teaching for a while, he would know the importance of giving fake victories to the students. So I would increase the stake of a question. That, that is a very good question. And if you do it, nobody has done it in my career so far. So you say things like that. <laughs> and if somebody does it, although that is a trick, but if somebody does it, that build, helps build up a certain amount of confidence in that person. Uh, and nothing succeeds like success. You give them a success, one success, they would build upon that success themselves. But test series is again a momentum builder. Uh, how about building an addiction? If somebody gets addicted, now, now a lot of the problem is solved. If somebody gets hooked to it and somebody's not moving out of the system, it's every day surrounding himself with that content only. The probability of him finishing the content would be a lot higher. Then I would say um, one momentum thing is projects. For projects, uh, we do hackathons here. There we, in the feed, we post the projects, but I, I wonder how would somebody finish it? The good ones would, uh, the disciplined ones would uh, refer to the content and make their own uh, projects. But here we do hackathons weekly. And the last part is career support. So this, there's a career section here. People can apply to those careers, but in the paid, we guarantee 10 job interviews. Uh, if there, it's a one-year course, 10 job interviews from ninth month onwards. And uh, this is in companies paying more than six lakh. So this is how paid is different from free. Everything is available for free, but in paid, you get uh, premium versions of that. So that is how we majorly monetize. So this solves the problem. This solves the ed fintech problem. So finance is taken care of. If you are disciplined, you need not take our paid classes at all. If you're not disciplined, certainly we would help you finish that thing. The probability of you finishing it off would be higher. And I can speak it with very, with a very high degree of confidence. Anybody does this entire content, this DSA, this web dev, and this core, I'm sure you just have to you show me one person who finished it and landed a job less than 20 lakhs. So that is what my claim is. Either you do it for free or for pay. But if you finish 200 DSA questions plus web plus core, I'm sure you take a job above 20 lakhs as a fresher. So for that matter, I have not done more than 800 questions of DSA so far. Uh, how much, how much, how many have you done uh, in your career? I don't think I have a number. I, I do a lot. I don't know how people uh, calculate this because I used to do a lot of random questions during college and I never thought I would, you know, start a channel where I would have to answer this question. But I have done a lot of questions randomly. So a lot? Uh, definitely 200, <laughs> 300 plus, but I don't have a number. Now we are speaking 1200. So for instance, I would tell you how many there are on lead code. On lead code, there are 2000. And that is recently. I mean, around two years back, there were only 1000 on, on lead code. Two years ago on Geeks for Geeks, there were 6,500 questions. On Hacker Earth, I think there are 5,000. On Hacker Rank, there are 5,000 plus. On Code Chef, there are 6, 7,000 plus. Code Forces, there is 5,000 plus. I'm not enough numbers. I might have done like 500 or 200 and I might not even like understand that, okay, I have done so many. So, I carry an unpopular opinion here. So uh, many people say that you need not do that much, much volume, but instead do it smartly and extract the maximum out of a question. So what a brute force way of doing it is, which has 100% certainty of uh, working fine. If somebody does it, you do 1200 DSA questions. And let us say you just watch the videos and you solve them after. I would say now you'll be able to do new questions also. Even if you have not done a single question all by yourself in the 1200 journey, you have watched the videos and then solve the question. Because the our opinions are different over there because I, I think that you need to solve questions. But yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I, I have an unpopular opinion. I said it. This is an unpopular opinion. Many people would not believe it. But I think volume certainly helps. Volume certainly helps. That is a brute force way. I would not call it a smart way. But it certainly works. That I'm sure. 
definitely yeah so obviously as you do more number of questions it is going to gather you some amount of experience right so this is somewhere between that area smart work versus hard work so okay. my de my default is always to choose hard work you do the hard yards you would not need smartness you do 1200 dsa questions no matter how soever you did it it is going to work you yeah. and you are going to be able to solve new questions also so uh, interestingly i am a person who has been known for hard work and uh, have always gotten feedback that you don't do smart work like my first manager he used to pester me so much that you are very hard working but you don't do smart work so now i have tried to shift there a little bit but i am the traditional hard working person not the smart working person i keep myself in entirely in the other area so if there is a continuum from smart work to hard work i belong completely the hard work area <laughs> no smartness around me i would help people do 1200 dsa questions i would make 3 lakh videos <laughs> hard work no smartness about it just do the thing got it interesting okay uh, can you walk us through naros files so that we yeah. know that uh, you know what all things are there yeah sure so it is built around i would say a uh, five c's five c's uh, which i think are necessary uh, first is community and community i think is a culture builder so if you consume instagram feed or tiktok's feed your mind get influenced in a different manner so i would call it the social media that a developer deserves so because it is our own social media so we could implement things like this you could post a code so this is somebody asking a code and somebody is asking the community and now i can go in the comment and answer him so this is a question that somebody has asked and this, this person is doing this climb stairs with minimum moves so this is a popular question so we have a video on it i do not need to do anything i go to the content i pick the video solution here and i post the video in the comment the person would know how to find a solution to it now this person is talking about something he learned in ml uh, an internship in java but this is a good feed i do not see what i do not see parties i do not see trips i do not see clothes so you consume this feed you surround yourself with this environment so you you get slightly influenced you see people doing fancy projects you get inspired maybe a negative emotion might also kick in you may, might feel jealous but even then you are feeling jealous for a good reason you the probability of you doing the same kind of projects increases you the probability of you finishing the, that content increases that is why we brought in community so i am i like these days i do a, a one very wrong thing i speak a lot and that is not how conversation should be done i'm sorry i'm doing that as of now also that is very boring uh what is very necessary is the communication should not be this way only the communication has to be this way also if you want to build a culture the communication has to be this way that is why community is there so people can speak to each other people can inspire each other the communication should not be this way only it has to be this way for that we have this community thing and a very robust audio video chat uh, thing so any anybody want can use the feed like linkedin or or like facebook and then can do audio video chat normal chat whatever is required you can make friends so it's a proper social media thing that we have implemented so that is the community section to it uh anything that you would want to add about the community part no you um, go on i'll ask a lot of questions later don't worry okay so then i would say and community in, builds a culture provides you momentum i think that takes care of the momentum part and also can help the doubt support so how we are promoting doubt support is we would be launching this doubt support program next month so whosoever enrolls to the doubt support program and solves the maximum number of doubts here uh, so we would send send him a reward maybe a macbook air that is what we have thought the second a very pure motivation for people is career so th these problems should not be solved separately these are problems which need to be solved together so career is there is no purer motivation than a bright career prospects so this care takes care of the motivation and we do not charge for this neither to the recruiter need not to the 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 person who applies for the job you apply to a job and we would share the data to the recruiter and there is also some monetization angle I, i would discussing about that but these jobs and we have very good jobs so around 60 companies are associated out of which 15 also allow us to use their logos and market for their jobs so wherever there is a logo these people are in uh, we have signed an mou with there we can market their jobs we can help people apply to those jobs and take their interviews on their behalf and share the the feedback with the companies so let us say 1000 people apply and if we provide a short list of uh, 50 people to the company so that is a lot of work save for the company so these uh, everyone with a logo here allows us to do their hiring for them so ivp is somewhere where i started my career from 
So IVP allows us to do that. Magnitude, Magnitude software is allowing us to do that. And these are pretty, some of them are pretty high paying also. So see this one, uh, Netomi, that is a 15 to 20 lakh. And uh, then there must be one, Techion is reasonably fine, 13 to 14. Melwatt is 11 to 12. Playment is uh, taking people at 20 to 22. And this one city group who is taking a lot of people at seven lakhs. And now there are also non-tech jobs. So if people are there who would want to take non-tech jobs. This is a sales job, which is paying pretty decently, five to 5.5, 5.5 to six. So that is about the career section. Hmm. Then this addiction part I wanted to play with. So a LinkedIn plus a code chef. Uh, so career and community, you, you can say this is a LinkedIn. Compete is a code chef code forces. So this addiction part, I wanted to touch that adrenaline thing. So adrenaline is one thing that I had my eyes on. So now we would be starting that same uh, long contest and three short cotton tests in, in a month. Uh, so that would be the compete section. And it is pretty well built. Um, we will be integrating the AI proctor with it in January so that nobody cheats also. So cheating has become a menace these days, especially in online evaluation. Cheating is such a menace. And we require this AI proctor because then we can pitch it to the companies also that you can trust this evaluation because this is an AI proctor. Somebody cheats, you would get to know that. So next month we will be doing it. And this month we are starting in compete uh, those three contests, four contests, one long, just like coach it, and three short contests. And each one of them would be prized also. So if when, when we would be creating a batch for you, so huh. we would be wanting to create a batch for you. So we would add a contest for the for your audience there. Yes. So this is the complete thing. Then this content part. So we, I have heard about everything. This is so far, uh, we have not been speaking about it. I would want you to review it. So this is my Taj Mahal that I have created. <laughs> and uh, we have recently started CBSE also. We create this content very fast, extremely fast. So I would say 500 videos a day, 100 hours of content every day is coming out from this factory we have created. We call this factory learning research centers. So this works on a, on a philosophy called Feynman technique of learning. I will tell you what the technique is. Uh, so Kirti, I, I was showcasing this content to you. So I would want to showcase this DSA content. So we have divided it into four sections now, level one, level two, level three, and lead code solutions. So we are planning to do in the next two months, entire lead code would be solved here and credits to lead code. So these are not our questions. They belong to lead code, but we have just provided the videos. So level one is basic stuff. Basic does not mean basic, basic, basic means uh, graphs, dextra prints, cruskels, uh, level order, pre-order, post-order, in order, iterative, that is all basics only. So there are 300 questions in there, which are separated into modules, basics, recursion, dynamic programming, basic DS and advanced DS. We have hash map heap and graphs here. Uh, so if somebody wants to learn recursion, I've again separated into five lectures, having questions. And if somebody uh, does this recursion from here, then he will be solving these questions. So let us say you were solving this question, print increasing. You read the question here. If you do not understand the question, there is a question video. Then you try to submit this question here. So this is the run and the submit thing, the normal test case thing. Let us say you get stuck. So, so in the discussion tab, you can ask a question. And if the question is good one, we would move it to frequently asked question section. So this is about the discussion thing. Uh, if you want to just watch the solution, you can go to the editorial section and watch videos. We have done them six times over. Java Hindi, Java English, Python Hindi English, C++ Hindi English. So every DSA has been done six times over in Java, Python, C++ and in English and Hindi. So there are 1200 questions done like that. Um, so That's 300. And the number of like, you know, languages support and uh, even English, Hindi. That's very helpful. I'm sure. Yeah. So that is why I, I, that is why I say, why consume the video on YouTube? The experience is so much more complete here. You, you can watch a hint video, you can do an MCQ, you can talk to people and you can watch the solution video in the language of your choice and in the speaking language of your choice. In level two, we majorly do questions which appear a lot in interviews. So these, if you uh, are aware of that uh, list on Geeks for Geeks, most often asked questions in fan companies. Right. So it is based on that only. And the popular questions on uh, lead code, which are tagged as Amazon and Microsoft and Google. So okay. here, uh, we harp a lot on recursion and backtracking. So I would want you to review this recursion and backtracking thing. These questions are original questions. These are not available anywhere. I, we have thought of these questions and we have built those questions, especially in recursion and backtracking. Bit manipulation, I've done personally myself. And uh, that Catalan series I was speaking about, that is somewhere here in this uh, dynamic programming section. Mm -hmm. huh? So nice. approximately there are 120 questions of uh, DP across level one and level two. And recursion backtracking, we have 80 questions. Of graph, there are more than 100 questions. Level three is code forces thing. 
So everything like range queries and everything, text processing, number theory, game theory, that is what is there in level three. Moving out from DSA in dev, we have this web dev in Hindi and English, and there are 12 projects done inside. And if there would be a comparison, again, I would not want to say that my course is superior than them, but it is comparable to Angela U course that is going around quite a lot, but one course is, there is popular on uh, Udemy by Cold Steel. It is very, very similar to that one. The projects are more complete. The projects also include data structures here. So we help them do Excel clone, Google Sheets clone. So in Google Sheets, there is that formula thing, which, which is, there is a cyclical graph problem there. So if, if you link the cells incorrectly, a cyclical graph would form and the topological sort would not be defined and the formulas would not be calculated. So when we do Excel clone, we keep our eye on the graphs also. So if you learn Excel clone here, you will not be doing only the front end, the back end thing, but also the graphs because we have very strong roots in DSA. So that kind of projects are here. In core, anything that is required for gate, for the five things that we have done, it is up to the gate level. Certainly for Amazon, Microsoft, any question that would be asked around code is certainly done very well. If you would require it for your college studies, it is there. If you would require it for product-based companies, it is there. If you would want it for companies that specifically focus on core, like AWS, it is there. If you'd want to do the gate thing, it is there. So this operating system is state of art. It is state of art. It is absolutely smashing. This DBM, DBMS thing we have recently launched, it is pretty amazing. And computer networks would be finished by the time your our video would go live. So it is we are posting it today. It would be live by the time we we would be making our video live. So this uh, computer networks would also be available. And in cutting edge, we we have done data science, and now we'd be doing uh, uh, IoT and uh, AR, VR, and gaming. So data science, we have finished data science in like like twenty days flat, including machine learning, including deep learning, including. Anything from data gathering, we start from data gathering. First, we teach scrapping, automation. Then we move to data analysis, that um, NumPy stuff. And then we move on to data visualization using v3.js and matplotlib. Then moving on to basics of ML, then eventually going to deep learning. So it is very well done, very well done. Again, if, if you've done some machine learning, deep learning, I would want you to review it if you would want to. Uh, we are very pro proud content creators. We are not content aggregators. So, I can sense so much excitement in you, like you are like non-stop, you're like, I will tell you everything in one go, it's like I can sense such a level of excitement, but I can only imagine creating so much content and putting hours and hours of work, this is like infinite amount of work that you might have put in this, so it's so definitely. This is, this is what Pep Pudding is living for, once these three lakh videos are done, I think my purpose with Pep Pudding would be finished, after that. How many are done till now? Uh, around 3000 so 3000 okay uh, long journey ahead um but, but we are creating very fast now 500 videos a day 500 videos a day and as soon as i, I have some hand on some kind of funds so we are looking to for investors some hand on some kind of funds six months flat i, I would get that error of solved in in chatter villages then i would pick my dhol and went, go to those six lakh villages and beat that dhol and tell them that this is possible why don't we just give it a try i, I would certainly do it I good hope that you, uh, I hope this video helps you get good reach. But uh, so, uh, sir, I had promised a giveaway in the starting of the video. I had committed that you know you give a giveaway just for this audience. So why don't you talk about that? Yeah. So Kirti, we have created a batch for you here. Uh, this is Kirti Paswani's batch, and for if anybody, and I would give you a URL so that you give that URL to people. Anybody that sign ups using your URL would land you in the URL. description, guys. The yes. URL is in the description. Yeah. Anybody sign ups using that URL will land in your batch in Kirti Parswani. And you would be able to communicate uh, to them via these groups. So we would create a group also for Kirti Parswani. Okay. And what we have provided to your audience is we have already posted five jobs here. So five jobs one is about 20 to 22, one is 9 to 10, 6 to 7. All of them are hiring as of now. All right. So for that, we are doing a contest. This upcoming contest is here in Kirti. So this is Kirti Paswani's contest. So people sign up, they apply to these jobs and they have, will have to sit in this contest on, on Thursday, I think. Uh, I'm not sure. This is Thursday or Wednesday. So I, I would give you the perfect date. So they would have to uh, sit in this contest. Once they do it, uh, those who perform well, we would share the resumes with these companies and they can expect an interview in less than two weeks. Those who do not perform well, even they would get a chance. We would forward both the lists. So these are the, this is the short list who have performed well, and this is the entire list to the recruiters. So if they, they find some good resume and they would want to maybe pursue the, the candidate, irrespective of his score in the contest, they are free to. So we would share the entire list with the recruiters with these five companies. 
So this is one giveaway for your uh, audience. So they get to apply to these jobs and we would share the resumes. And another giveaway that I have for your audience is the content is certainly available. That is one thing. The other one is if somebody would want to take those paid classes. So anybody who is in your batch, they would want to take that paid class. They would get a 10% discount over and above any discount that is going on. So that would be Kirti Parswani's discount. So they would get the 10% discount over and above anything that is going around. Okay. So these two things. That will be valid for how long? Like, uh, for two, two months. For two, two months. months. Okay. Yeah. So guys, you have two months if you want to have additional discount on the paid thing. So uh, as he said in paid, he'll give you more motivation and you'll get more momentum to just finish things faster. The content will be same as the free part. So if you are interested in buying the paid part, use my code and get additional 10% discount. Yes. And if someday you would like to interact with your audience here, so there's a webinar feature built in. So uh, we we will, uh, we would love to host you here. You you interact with your audience, with your fan following. Please please start using Nados. Why won't you? You you use LinkedIn all the time. You have so many subscribers there, so many followers there. Why don't you have followers on Nados? I would want you to have followers on Nados. Such excitement. I'll definitely explore. So uh, thank you so much for coming. Would you like to mention anything else at the end? Like anything for our audience? Uh, yeah, uh, I, I think again, that thing, that, that same thing that we have been speaking about, that Ed FinTech part. Uh, so this is something that we are working towards and uh, you can help us. Actually, the audience can really help us by just being sensible. So, so we... Uh, are very sincere educationists. We never did masala. We never did masala. We never did it, except that one controversy that I once did. So we never did anything of that sort. But, but uh, I only have eighty nine thousand subscribers, and this content deserves a lot more. So there are two parts of this problem. I will surely solve one. Three lakh videos I will create. We also need viewership, and you can help us uh, with viewership. By telling the friends around that this is available, why don't you access it? So uh, one day I would pick that dhola up and I would go to those all those places and I would beat the dhola up. This content is available. Why don't you use it? But you can help me before that. And maybe you can save me from going to those villages with a dhola in my hand. And how can you help me do that? By, by, help, by telling people around that this is available. And so much is available free of charge. Largely, it is a free of charge thing. So... Uh, and it is very good, very amazing. I just would want one request all in all. You use it. And if, if you find it beneficial, you tell other people. That's the only request I have for your audience. So if they would want to help me out. And this would have larger impact on India. Give me 10 years, maybe 20 years. This would certainly have a lot of impact in India. Same thing I also keep saying. So uh, when I, you know, when I make videos, like uh, people say that you make less educational videos but when i do that obviously the number of views are much much lesser and then uh, you get stuck in a loop i think it's for every content creator even though i want to teach a lot more but uh, the support that comes is less so, yeah. i'm stuck again one second hmm. uh, so thank you so much for coming and i hope this helps a lot of audience and they check out your uh, content I'm really glad that, you know, uh, hopefully through my channel, you also get a bit more uh, reach and we both can, like all of us can grow together. Basically, that's what a community is. Thank you, Kirti, for having me over and, uh, and, and for being such a gracious host. I know I'm such an ass when I keep on speaking. I do not let other people speak. I'm, I'm sorry, but I have so much to say these days. So I, I speak so, a lot more. It's it is okay. annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I understand your excitement <laughs> completely fine. Thank you for being so gracious. Thank you so Thank much. You. Yeah. Thank you. Bye.